And tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from one of the sheriff's deputies who was first to respond to another devastating crash in Lyon County that killed three teens. The wreck happened near Road 150 and J, just south of Emporia, Saturday night. Police, fire, and dives teams all responded to this. And so our Kelly Saberi has an exclusive interview for us tonight. She joins us live near the scene where this tragedy unfolded. Kelly. Tonight, what's left are parts of the car and victims for the family. But if you were here Saturday night, you would have seen roughly 30 first responders. And one of the first to get on scene wasn't even thinking about himself when he jumped into action. No protective equipment, just pure adrenaline. Nathan Rankin was working a typical shift when he was called to a welfare check. Someone reported a teen girl walking along these sleepy county roads looking in distress. She was awake, breathing, alert. Then he learned she was a passenger in a car crash who escaped and was looking for help. His main focus became the other three still trapped in the car, unsure if they were alive, picturing his own kids. We treat everyone as if they were our own family. The car veered off the road, breaking the wire fence and landed near the bank of the river, just a couple of steps deeper. And the river River depth drops significantly. As the rescue continued that night, that sole survivor told the others' families what happened. Not soon after, screaming and crying could be heard throughout the rescue. 17 year old Chase Luby, 13 year old Paxton Luby, and 17 year old Shelby Phoenix were killed. It's not easy telling someone you know they lost a loved one, um, even harder when you know the day before Mother's Day losing their children. That night, one long night, he knew the scene would stick with him. You know, when you have kids, you even when they're in dead sleep, you know, go home, give them a hug, give them a kiss, you know, tell them you love them. The Emporia Public School District is also offering counseling services to the victim's friends and students. Live in Emporia, covering local news that matters, Kelly Saberi, KSNT News.